have all heard of Alvin and the Chipmunks, and if you haven't, honestly, good for you. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks are essentially a trio of singing chipmunks. They came from the wild and met this man named Dave and signed into a label and they became famous and that's kind of the story of the chipmunks. If, like me, you've grown up with the chipmunks, you know that, well, they've changed a lot over the years. Let me just discuss what's happened with them. So way back when I was little, like maybe 2007, 2006, there were chipmunks, but they weren't necessarily the ones that are the popular trilogy or is it quadrology today? I don't even know, honestly. They were these cartoon chipmunks that essentially were on television. They had their own songs, they had albums, but they weren't real, obviously. They were just like, they were like presented as Alvin and the Chipmunks. And they were just basically a bunch of men that had their voices super high pitched. Again, I wasn't around for much of these cartoons, it's just like what I saw. And then when I got a little older, maybe 2008, 2009, I watched the first live action Alvin and the Chipmunks. Not gonna lie, the CGI was on point for that movie. Like, it was a little weird at times because obviously, like, it had been during the years when they had first tried to introduce cartoon characters into a real camera movie, kind of like Space Jam, but I think they did a way better job than Space Jam, in my opinion. So you kind of fast forward, the chipmunks are evolving, they go to school in Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, the squeakquel, they go to school and uh, they meet three lady chipmunks who also happen to want to join the same record deal as the chipmunks. However, they are unaware that the record deal holder has been fired because he basically abused the chipmunks, made them tired, didn't really like cooperate with them or their dad, blah blah blah, a lot of drama. And the Chipettes, the female chipmunks, the Chipettes, decided to go and join with that record label anyways because they wanted to meet the chipmunks and become just like them. The guy, Ian, record record label holder, bad guy, takes them in uh, illegally. I don't know how he gets into that penthouse, but he gets in. The Chipettes are essentially in a dual love-hate relationship with the chipmunks and they all like each other kind of like the tall one likes the tall one, the pink one likes the red one, and the green one likes the green one. I don't know, man. So by the end of the movie, they all move in together. I I don't know. I mean, Dave adopted them, but they all like each other. And so by the third movie, they're all on vacation together. Simon and Jeanette have a thing. I watched that movie in theaters, actually. Fun fact. I watched it in Indonesia. Chipwrecked? Yeah, Chipwrecked. Yeah, I watched that in theaters. It was super fun. Uh, anyways, essentially all six chipmunks are stuck on an island and they meet this girl named Susan. Zoe. 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 That's her name, Zoe. Zoe actually helps them, takes them in, gives them food, blah, 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 blah. Turns out she's a villain too. They really can't catch a break. She basically wants to find this treasure on the island and she eventually captures Jeanette and makes her get some of the treasure, blah, blah, blah. Dave almost dies. It's it's kind of a long story. You should watch the movie for yourself. It's kind of come, it's coming out weird when I say it. But essentially that was kind of how the chipmunks, like the trilogy worked. The chipmunks had an adventure and they got back to Dave. Same thing for the second one. Same thing for the third one. But then there's the fourth one. And the fourth one kind of came at a time when I think anyone who had basically enjoyed the chipmunks have already moved on to something else. Like for me, it was Marvel. I love the chipmunks, but then obviously like as I grew up, I started watching more PG-13 movies like Marvel and like now I'm like hooked into that whole cinematic universe. But anyways, they released Alvin 4, The Road Trip. That was in I think like middle school or late elementary, I don't remember. It is about the chipmunks, not the chipettes because they're off judging American Idol or something. And the chipmunks are essentially on a road trip to stop Dave from marrying the lady that is the mom of the chipmunks enemy. Yeah. <laughs> and by the end of it, oh, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to spoil this one. Maybe I'm not going to spoil. But uh, essentially the point is the chipmunks have changed a lot. I mean, from the animation style to what they do, including the chipettes, like all of them, they've, they've just changed. I don't know how to explain it. Like, have y'all seen the new chipmunk series? What was that? I have honestly no words for it. it. It just, I don't know, man. I mean, one part that I really enjoyed about the chipmunks in general is that their songs are kind of bops. At least the ones in the main trilogy, those songs were good. And the part that will forever be iconic is when the chipettes got into a dance battle with the three ladies on the cruise ship. No, you didn't. 
Oh, yes, she did. You better get those Lee press-ons out of my face unless you want to meet my claws. And yeah, baby, they're real. Bro, that will forever be... She said, Get those Lee press-ons out of my face. Oh my gosh. Whoever wrote those characters had something in their head that, you know what? I, I liked it. I respect it. But the thing that I, I think confused me most was definitely the relationship between the Chipettes and the Chipmunks. And Alvin and the Chipmunks to the Squeakwell, in school they had this whole scene where they're at their lockers, they see each other, and they're all head over heels for each other. And like, they're strangely stereotyped together, you know, glasses, glasses, chubby, chubby, popular, popular. I don't really know how else to explain. I don't know how else to explain it, but they clearly liked each other. Essentially, I'm here like, okay, so are they siblings or are they dating? Is that like a trend nowadays? Wait, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. Please don't let it be a trend. Okay, anyways, that's what's kind of confused me about the chipmunks a lot. And so by the fourth movie, I think it already lost a lot of popularity because the chipmunks had been around for a really long time, even in like different animation styles, like they've just been around for a long time. And so by the time like the series came out, like, I don't, I don't know, it lost its vibe. It lost its spark. I don't know. I mean, the animation, you know, it's a kid's show, so obviously it's not going to be like top notch animation. But I don't know, man, just the way they like animated them kind of like it's, it's off putting. Get a little of the scene real quick. Back in October 2019, me and my friends actually dressed up as the chipmunks and honestly to this day, I don't remember why. I don't remember who thought of it. I just remember like someone said, hey, let's 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 do the chipmunks. And so we came as the chipmunks for our youth group and we didn't win the costume contest, which, you know, kind of sucked because I think we kind of look like the chipmunks. I mean, I kind of look like a chipmunk right now essentially the chipmunks have evolved over time they've devolved over more time honestly the songs are still bops but to this day i'm still confused about a lot of things about the chipmunks honestly dave has had like three girlfriends throughout the course of the whole trilogy first song i really ever heard from the chipmunks was like christmas christmas this started off as a music channel and it has actually devolved into me talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm so sorry. If you're still here, I, I really appreciate that. In fact, I'd like to take this time to say if you've been here for a long time, thank you for being such a great subscriber. It means the world to me, honestly. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's a weird place, but it's the best place, you know? I basically just do a variety of things from singing to acting, editing myself in the movies, talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So become a Triclonosaurus today and subscribe. Back to the video. You know what? I think that's the end of the video. So I think this concludes our chipmunk video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have seen Alvin and the Chipmunks, please comment down below which movie was your favorite and why. Because I actually really want to know. Like, I grew up with it, like I said, but as it's like, obviously I haven't seen it in such a long time, so like, just want to know. Refresh these memories, guys. Just, just tell me. Which movie did you like the best? Be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And thank you guys for being here, honestly. Again, it means the world to me. So, love you. And uh, I will see you later.